I'm sure by now all of you have heard that pandemic will end in 2022. What does that exactly mean? Coronavirus will disappear? We can live freely like we did before 2020? Let's understand in detail today. When an infectious disease, in this case COVID-19, spreads worldwide, affecting significant number of people, then it is known as pandemic. To end a pandemic in an ideal situation, it means the infectious disease should not be there anymore. That is, complete eradication of the disease. However, that's not the case always. In most cases, the infectious agent stays with us but do not cause significant illness. This situation is known as endemic. And in case of COVID-19, scientists mean pandemic will end but COVID-19 will stay as endemic. There will be months when the number of infected people will be more in a particular region but will be under control like flu. You might ask why suddenly now everyone is talking about pandemic ending? The future of a pandemic depends upon two factors. Type of immunity people acquire due to vaccination and natural infection and secondly how the virus evolves. A pandemic occurs when our immune system do not have any knowledge about the virus, so it can't defend. Once our immune system encounters a virus, it will develop immunity against the virus and keep a memory within it so that if we are reinfected with the virus, it can fight very fast. Once substantial number of people acquire immunity, then the virus cannot cause severe illness. This is called herd immunity and it will work like a shield and protect us. So to end the pandemic, the ultimate aim is to develop herd immunity through vaccination and natural infection. In our present case, we have both vaccines and natural infection. And the new variant Omicron is spreading like wildfire. It will infect almost everyone in the world. So this will help us to develop herd immunity against COVID-19. As a result, within few months from now, probably by end of 2022, everyone will be infected and immune and thus the pandemic will come to an end. But as I said before, the virus will stay with us and occasional flares in certain regions will occur. If the immunity against Omicron stays lifelong, which is unlikely, and the virus does not evolve anymore, then the virus will be eradicated eventually. But as we have seen for COVID, the immunity wanes with time. This gives the virus chance to reinfect, but severity will be less as our immune system keeps a memory of the virus and attacks it as soon as reinfected. On the other hand, we have also seen that SARS-CoV-2 is mutating, which will help it to escape our immune system. To handle this, we have to update our vaccines with time so that we can get protection from the new variants similar to what happens with flu vaccines. But why with Omicron era we are thinking of pandemic ending? As I have told you earlier that pandemic ends when we attain herd immunity. If we allowed everyone to move freely and get infected, we might have attained herd immunity, but the price in terms of death and hospitalization we had to pay is really unacceptable because we have seen how deadly Delta was. Also, the immunity wanes with time, so attaining herd immunity would have been very difficult. But now, in this Omicron era, the severity is less and very less hospitalization and death is found. And due to its high transmissibility rate, it will infect everyone. So the price we have to pay to attain herd immunity is much less, which is acceptable. Moreover, vaccines are given to 50% of the world population. So even if vaccines do not give protection against infection, the disease will be less severe. But what if Omicron mutates to a deadly variant again? Omicron can follow three paths. It can stay as it is, mutate to more pathogenic variant, mutate to more transmissible variant. Staying as it is is unlikely but it will help in eradication of the virus in the near future provided everyone is immune through vaccination or natural infection. But if it becomes more pathogenic, then the new variant has to outcompete Omicron to cause severe disease. 
In general terms, more pathogenic virus are less transmissible. So it cannot outcompete Omicron in terms of transmission and thus Omicron will dominate. If it becomes more transmissible than Omicron, it will outcompete Omicron. But the variant is expected to cause milder symptoms and our immune system can handle it properly. However, if it becomes more pathogenic and more transmissible at the same time, then the pandemic will continue. But this scenario is very unlikely. So it seems that Omicron is going to stay for some time and everyone will attain herd immunity against Omicron and thus the virus will become endemic. A survey was done from Nature Journal with 119 immunologists, infectious researchers and virologists from 23 countries. In the Nature poll, 89% of the scientists felt that SARS-CoV-2 was either very likely or likely to become an endemic virus. And the following bars show what are the driving factors for SARS-CoV-2 to become endemic. 71% think due to immune escape, 59% think due to waning immunity, 45% due to uneven vaccine distribution, 37% think due to vaccine hesitancy, 29% think due to political will, 14% due to animal reservoir, and 5% due to other factors. Recently, a Lancet study came out which also says COVID-19 will continue but the end of pandemic is near. So it seems that the pandemic is about to end because Omicron is highly transmissible and we will attain herd immunity. But does it mean you should not wear mask, follow social distancing? The answer is you have to follow them until your country sees a drastic decline in the Omicron peak and your country has vaccinated most of the people. Even if Omicron is mild, it's infecting lot of people at the same time. Some needs hospitalization and even deaths are seen. So it's our responsibility to protect the vulnerable until we attain herd immunity. Thank you.